Hi viewers, welcome back to Burning Asia Khan. My name is Divya and today I am present in the Shields. So today we are going to have a session which is all about motivation. As we all know this thing, motivation is very much required. We really require that push in our lives. So today, the students of the Shields only will motivate everyone present right there. But, as you know, I love the twists. So the twist of this session is, you have to motivate everybody using some objects. Means, for example, you have got the remote. So, using this remote, you have to motivate that what one can learn from this object. So, I hope in the given time, you have already prepared all these things, right? Yes, all right. So, let's kick it off then. So, the very first performer we have got today is uh, a very special student from the Shields. Not exactly from the Shields, but uh, yeah, he's there among us. So, let's call him to perform. So, we have got Abhinav on the stage. Let's welcome Abhinav. So, there is a Chinese philosophy known as yin and yang, which represents the equilibrium between light and dark. And I believe this paper represents that juxtaposition, paradox and contrast perfectly. Because being blank, it is full. And that is my topic for today. The contrast between life, the paradox of life, the juxtaposition of life. I believe we are too conceited in a, within ourselves, whether be it our uh, sorrows, woes, whether be it our happy moments. We are too conceited in our lives. What we do not understand is the paradox of life. Do you know what's the darkest thing in the universe? It is a black hole. And do you know what's the brightest thing in the universe? It is a phenomenon caused by black hole known as quasars and blazars. And that is why I believe that life is also full of paradoxes, full of contrast. It brings sorrow, but it also brings happy moments towards us. We should learn to accept the juxtaposition of life, the contrast of its color, which at the end of our life make a beautiful painting. And that is why we should learn to live our life freely and fully without worrying about the sorrows, without worrying about the cries, without worrying about the screams, but learning to accept whatever our fate has for us. And this is the end of my speech. Remember that if you can have the darkest time, if you can become the darkest black hole, one day you'll shine bright like the brightest of the stars. Thank you. That was actually insanely great. I must say this thing. Uh, thank you so much for enlightening all of us right there, Vinal. <laughs> so anyway, now let's move ahead. And Isa? I guess I, like, I did compensate for some of <laughs> No, but that, that's completely fine. It was not at all a mistake. Anyway, so uh, now let's move ahead. As I can see so many bright and prepared faces in front of me. So out of you all, I would like to call... Okay, let's call the boy from Himachal. That's Smurf. Five percent people in this entire world are depressed. They are indulged. They are indulged in the activities like stress and depression. And likewise, they are getting indulged in the activities like masturbation and getting drugs. And this is one of the biggest problems right now in the youth. And I personally believe that the only way to reduce the activities like masturbation, drugs, and to reduce the stress level and depression of the people, it is mandatory to give them happiness, to provide them pleasure. And I believe that this wire, the electric current in this wire, is trying to teach us the same. Because when electric current comes through a medium, such as we are right now, we are having this fan. Behind it, there is electric current. And this electric current is coming through a medium that is fan. And what it is giving to us? It is giving us pleasure. Same goes with the bulb. Behind that there is electric current and it is giving us pleasure. Same goes with the cars. They are giving us pleasure. And I believe that a person must be that person who would, ma who would make others happy. A person who would make the life of others stress-free, who would remove the depression from their life. And I believe that that person would be the person next to God, next to teacher, next to a doctor. And I believe that a person must be the same kind of person who 
would make the life of people stress free and would make them happy too. The second thing that this electric current is trying to teach us. We all know that there is electric current behind this but we have never seen that. The same it is teaching to us. Make people happy, give them pleasure. But it is not compulsory to show that you made people happy. Just tell your name but it is not compulsory to show your face. Because we have to, we have to bring a change in the society. We do not have to show our face that yes I did that or somebody other did that. And these are the two things that this electric current in this way is trying to teach us. Thank you. So let us call Anudi on the stage. Oh, so are you gonna write? No, that's not a object for the day. All right, please. Everyone, my name is Anu and my object for today is helmet. So helmet keeps you away from your helmets. Oh. Right. So, you know, whenever you put this helmet on your head, it is required because safety and security is much needed whenever you ride any scooty or a bike. So, uh, I would like to tell you the benefits of wearing helmet. So, first, you will get rid of the brain hemorrhage because you are using a helmet. And also, you know, you get the visibility on the road. If you wearing a helmet also you you are the example for the kids if you are hearing because kids always you know copy you if you are uh, wearing helmet so your kids are also get a habit of wearing a helmet so it provides you security safety and a good look as per me because whenever I ride a scooty I always put my helmet first and then I ride a scooty so that's all from my side. <laughs> Thank you so much, Zora. I, I really like the way, uh, I really like that thing, the way you uh, segregated the word helmet, helmet, uh, that was I'm quite safe. Sorry. Oh, that, that's completely fine. That's been really fun. Now let's move ahead. And uh, the next performer of the day is, I would like to call the brother of the last performer. So let us call Manish Yadav on the stage. All the very best. Chala, help you. Oh, no, I'm Manish. Go on. So, hello everyone. This is Manish Kumar Yadav. And as you can see, I just put a chair in front of you. So, I just want all of you to go back for a moment. Just imagine every time you entered a room for a motivation session, what did you observe there? You see that there were many chairs um, uh, in the front of the stage. Many. You, you haven't even didn't care to just count them. But there was a one chair alone on the stage in the dark. No one was having the courage to come to that chain. Life is all same about it. We always love to sit among the peoples. We don't have to show the courage to come alone. As you can see, the chain is stable, very stable. I have got four legs. So it's very stable. So what makes a life very stable? Does this staying in a comfort zone make it really very stable? Or does this chain show that if a person come up with discipline, having a strong willpower, Having the courage to come up with his own idea, having the courage to differentiate from himself from the society, not to follow other path, but just to believe himself. Then he can actually make the changes him himself and he can actually follow his path. He can actually come up with different path and can attain a position he want in a life. That will differentiate. We all dream a lot, we all wanted something in a life, we all wanted that, oh, if Vyat Kohli can do, I think we, I can give better shots than Vyat Kohli. But that was the man who had the courage, who get up in the morning, who, who was willing to put hard work. That was the life. He wanted the first position in the world of cricket. He wanted the position that after 60 years, we all are going to become very old. Some having the knee problems, some having the stomach problems, some having a hard time to just digest their foods. But there were only two, two different types of people. We all are gonna die. But there will always two type, different types of people. One, who actually wanted a position, they work for hard, they have achieved their chair. And now they can delight, they can make other people aware of that, how they have actually achieved. And one, who just simply sitting in that number of chairs where they were available at thousands of chairs. They just come up in the room, chose a chair which is, was very comfortable in a shady time of all, will not fall on them. And was way too comfortable, was way too traveling, was way too was interested in much more in go gossiping and a chair sitting on uh, uh, totally alone on the stage 
totally solo. They just come on that stage, have the fear, have, do have the fear, but they overcome that fear and now they have got the position. So I believe in you and truly you inspire me a lot. So we all believe that we will attain that position. Thank you. Wow. Thank you so much. Actually, uh, when you were performing, I was just smiling right there. I was having a thought in myself that how like deep you have thought of this. They took the idea come with hey, but yeah, you were stating on a chair. Oh, <laughs> nice, nice. But it was actually so genuine. I really loved it. Very nice, very nice. Movie.